H hello look at us huh? i'm we're sitting around a campfire <laughs> there's some nice stock footage playing look at that oh yeah. oh, oh look at that look at that nice fire <laughs> it's so nice anyway <laughs> uh, that you know it's a really boring night because there's no ghouls or goblins in this forest how about we sp <laughs> we spook it up with some <laughs> with some scary stories all right I'll go first. I call this one the. We start on Cool Island. Oh! Where there are Twelve cool guys. Mm -hmm. They live in the cool base. <laughs> uh, there are twelve of them, but only four of them are really important. Uh, okay. You have you have cool fat guy, okay. cool black guy, Hell cool yeah. guy that gets shot who matters less than the others, okay. and cool beard guy who matters more than the others. I see. So they're hanging around doing cool stuff. I'll call, I'm gonna call the others the NPCs. <laughs> they, do, they do stuff, but they don't really matter as much as... Anyway, so they're hanging out when from somewhere else you see... They, they see two guys coming in on a helicopter. One guy's driving, and and one guy's leaning out the window, and he has a gun. Oh! He's shooting at a dog, but his aim is shit because he hasn't hit it once. So they're shooting at the dog. The cool guys are like, that's not very cool. <laughs> so the not very cool guys land the helicopter. The guy with the gun gets out. He pulls out a grenade, but he's a clumsy boy, so he drops it. And, and instead of picking it up and trying to throw it again... <laughs> He just runs off, leaving the guy in the helicopter to try to scramble for the grenade. It ends up blowing up both the, the helicopter guy and the helicopter. Not very cool guy I comes up. He tries to shoot the dog again. You can tell he's not cool because he's speaking Norwegian. No! Anyway, he tries to shoot the dog, but his aim is shit. So he shoots guy that gets shot in the leg. I see. And the cool guys are like, that's not very cool of you. And they shoot him dead. They bring the dog into into the cool base. They put him with the other cool dogs. Because, you know, where else would you put the dog? And they go to sleep. We we see that night that the cool, that the uncool dog is walking around, uh, around the cool base. And you see the shadow of a guy in a room. The cool dog goes into that room and shows him cool shadow puppets that are definitely not malicious. Ah, I like shadow puppets. I'm gonna do shadow what? puppets right now. Look at that. Oh, oh, that's so nice. Wow. <laughs> this so is such high quality. Then, so, cool fat guy and cool beard guy and some of the NPCs go and investigate. And they find that the not cool dog has turned into a horrendous flesh monster. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's terrible. I can't believe that happened. And then it goes up into the sea ceiling and cool fat guy go goes to one of the NPCs and is like, Give me that shotgun, and and he starts shooting at the ceiling until the not cool flesh monster falls to the ground. At which point he shoots it a few more times, mm. and then he shoots the rest of the dogs because honestly, fair. <laughs> yeah, fuck dogs. I'm a cat person. The the other cool guys say, "Well, bro, that's not very cool. Go to the shed." <laughs> the shed. So they take him to the shed, they lock him in there, and when morning arrives, they're like, hey, let's take our helicopter and go to where the not very cool guys came from. Norway. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, they don't go to Norway. Damn it. Or I guess fortunately. I wanted to see some fjords. <laughs> they, they go in the direction and they end up at the not cool guys base on Cool Island, which is very rude. That is so rude. So they go in, they explore. Nobody's there. There's no bodies. There's nobody. They find this weird bathtub. It's made of ice. Ah. And they're like, that's weird. Let's go back. And instead of, and instead of, you know, just going back and things being normal, they find cool guy that gets shot out in the middle of the snow. His fingers are really long. Oh. And he's making weird noises. Like, what kind of weird noises? Like, give me an example. I'm a, like, audio learner. Oh. Oh. So they burn him to death. Oh, okay. 
They also find that one of the cool guys apparently just died for no reason. So another one of the NPCs goes up and says, "All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do an autopsy. Let's take him to a room. It's not a medical room, but and the and the NPC the the autopsy NPC he goes up to the guy's stomach and as as he's about to make an incision, uh, the dead guy's stomach opens up and just and there are teeth and it and it's real fleshy and gross mm. and it bites the guy's hands off." Ow, that's not nice. Uh, the guy dies from loss of hands. <laughs> he couldn't jerk off no more. He, he just immediately dies. Oh. The cool guys and the NPCs that are left alive are like, that's no good. <laughs> and they they go to kill it. So the de- cool dead guy's head comes off and, and is like, this is boring. I'm leaving. And it goes off to go somewhere. Now, at this point, nobody wants to sleep. So, cool beard guy comes up with a, a plan. What the cool autopsy di- guy did get is he got a blood sample, and he noticed that, hmm, yes, something weird is going on with his blood. The cells are spiky. Sickle cell disease? All of the cells. Oh! Cool beard guy uh, grabs a shotgun. He's like, everyone get on the couch. I'm going to tie you up. Up. I know this guy is safe, so he's gonna help me. And one by one, we're gonna take blood samples for you, and we're gonna heat them up. For mm-hmm. most of them, nothing happens. But when he heats up one of the blood, a, a fucking tentacle comes out of the blood. Oh, shit! Like, like, actually. And the guy whose blood it is starts freaking out and starts turning into this horrendous flesh monster. So cool beard guy shoots him dead. That's a good idea. I would also shoot him dead. So, cool beard guy and cool black guy go out to give some food to cool fat guy in the shed. Cool fat guy's not in the shed. Oh! So, they go in, they investigate the shed. Turns out, there's a little basement under the shed. And cool fat guy was building a spaceship there. Like an that- actual on-god <laughs> spaceship. So, they say, that's pretty cringe. That's a hell of a, that's cool a, hell fat of a guy shed. Brains out. The five people who are left are like, all right. We're gonna scrub this place, and then we're gonna burn it to the ground. And that's the end of the story. Definitely not something that already exists, nuh-uh. That, that, that's good that you're a creative mind. I'm sure your mother is very proud of you. She's not. Oh, well, my mother's dead, so... Anyway, how, <laughs> how about you tell me a story? Yeah, yeah. You know, one more, one more story, and then we go bedtime night-night in this, uh, in these scary woods. <laughs> okay. These spooky, scary woods that have these little wooden dolls scattered around the place. <laughs> I don't know where they came from. I didn't put them there. Uh, <laughs> wow, that tree has a face. I sure hope nothing happens with that. 